All right, here's the hand wheel off of my uh, console 226. And uh, I was going to remake this thing because uh, it's got some problems. Uh, number one uh, in the remaking, well, let's start with the problems. Number one is it's got three holes for set screws, but only two set screws came out. I call them... This one up here I call set screw A, which comes in approximately like this. And then the one on the right I call set screw B, conveniently enough. And this one I run the left hand side here, I just call hole. Because, here's a piece of rod, it's metric actually. But, um, I'm going to shove it in here from the left and watch the bore. See that? It goes right through there, okay. And not only that. But if you'll notice, well, maybe it does. It goes straight into the bore, more or less, or what appears to be straight into the bore. And here is set screw A hole. I took out set screw A. This one, believe it or not, only has about one turn left of the threads. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in this movie, because it's dark down in that hole but there's the end of the rod I'm just pushing it very lightly now see the end of the rod moving in there there's only maybe one turn or maybe not even one turn of threads left in uh, hole A and uh, in hole B there are some there's more this goes into hole B okay here's hole B uh, hole B has more threads in it whoops I moved the camera it's kind of dim in there but uh, like my personality but um, hole B has more threads in it however if you look closely you can see that um, hole B doesn't look to me like it's it's going uh, straight into the bore you notice it's uh, offset on an angle it's more or less like this actually okay let's show you, I'll show you that again so the question is, or one of the questions is, is this supposed to be a hole on the left where I got it marked hole, the extreme leftmost one? Maybe somebody drilled it out. Is that supposed to be a hole or is that supposed to have a set screw? In other words, is there supposed to be two set screws in a hole or is there supposed to be three set screws? I don't know the answer to these questions, okay? And uh, if you'll notice, right here where it says hole, there's some booger marks here. I call them booger marks. These are not marks I made on the hand wheel. They were like it when I got it. See those marks? They look like, I don't know what, drill bit marks or whatever. And there's, uh, there's uh, hole A, the side view. And here's hole B. Uh, never mind. That was hole, that was the hole. It's not hole A, it's just the hole. This is hole A. This one did have a set screw in it. But you'll notice that the bore is uh goes into the belt groove a tiny bit you see that you can see the bore goes into the belt groove so i don't know somebody may have drilled this out i really don't know if this is factory work or not but you notice there's some other abrasions or something here okay this hole appears to be over a quarter of an inch and this hole here looks looks to me to be more correct Although I have no way to judge it because I never had another one of these hand wheels in my hands. So this is hole B. And uh, this is the one that's on a slight angle as we just discussed a few seconds ago. Uh, you can tell, when I move this into the bottom corner of your frame, that it's not heading, it's heading more or less to about here. Not heading to the center. It's heading like this on an angle. So is, that, is there supposed to be two or three set screws? And are, are the set screws supposed to go straight into the bore or what? Those are the big questions. And the other question is, and this is the main question of the day, kids. Uh, I have a dial caliper and I have a micrometer, but I didn't put the mic on the shaft. The shaft, the bore in this thing is uh, tapered. However, it's tapered extremely slightly. Uh, let's put it this way. It's way less tapered 
than a uh, Morse taper number one. Here's a Morse taper number one reamer, okay? And uh, it's relatively sharp. The tip of it is boogered up, but that doesn't matter for this discussion because when I put uh, the taper reamer into the big end, I'm just pushing it in with my fingers. I'm not trying to turn it with a tool. When I put it in there, you'll notice at the uh, small end, there's still plenty of... Uh, wiggle see that wiggle keep in mind that the big end is tight the part that goes toward the machine is tight and this is the wiggle I make this wiggle to be I'm pretty good at guessing this kind of stuff it's it's about 50 thousandths okay 50 thousandths at the small end and none at this end okay where it's in there okay so um, so the question is what is the taper? The taper could be uh, the same taper as on a taper pin, perhaps, which is supposedly about a quarter of an inch per foot. Uh, the taper on a Morse taper reamer is more or less five-eighths of an inch per foot. And the overall, uh, the overall width of this uh, central hub, uh, I haven't measured it yet with my dial caliper, but I but it looks to me to be very near uh, approximately an inch. So um, could this, uh, you trigonometry guys out there, need to tell me if this, uh, if this is in keeping with being a taper pin. The reason I'm asking all this is because I, I want to remake this thing. I need a bigger pulley. I need a bigger pulley up on the machine here. And for other reasons, because, you know, there's no... Um, there's, n there's nothing here. I can't put a set screw in this one. This is obviously just a hole. Or I could, put, let's put it this way. I could tap this hole. I could buy uh, uh, a pulley tap and tap this hole uh, and put a set screw in it. Probably American, but maybe metric, but whatever. Let's, let's say for the sake of discussion, I put a set screw in there. And this other one with the, uh, with the very shallow, with the hardly any... Uh, See the end of the, uh, that one I'd have to put a set screw, I, oh my god, it just went through there too. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, so for all intents and purposes, hole A is uh, stripped, or um, or the set screw that goes in it is a quarter 16 or whatever, a quarter 18, whatever the normal thread is, or it could be metric, who knows what it is, and uh, hole B has some threads in it, but I, I only have one usable set screw, and, and uh, this thing's tapered, and the shaft on the machine is tapered. There's a flat spot uh, on the machine shaft where this thing goes on, and there's also a groove. Uh, I'm going to show you those things in still images, okay? up there's your view of the bore here's the view of the bore from the other side see the bore is uh, it's got what I call problems you know 